Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be talking about a new Switch emulator that's recently hit the market for Android. And yes, this is a legitimate Switch emulator. It works, and it actually works better than I ever thought it would. But there's been a lot of controversy behind this emulator ever since it was released a few days ago. And I've had a hard time figuring out how it's going to go about making this video. Now, I have no reason to lie to you. This is a real Switch emulator. It does work on Android devices with high-end chipsets like the Snapdragon 855, 855 Plus, 865, and 865 Plus. It's still very early, so there's lots of bugs. You will get some slowdowns, but I have been able to run some games at full speed, and performance was way better than I ever expected it would be. So other than a high-end Android device, you're also going to need a specific controller called the GameSir X2. It's the only controller that works with this emulator, and there's no on-screen touch controls. And finally, you do have to sign up with an email, and you have to sign in when you use the app and be online. So basically, it's a Switch emulator for Android with hardware and software DRM implemented. Now personally, I'm a big fan of the Nintendo Switch Lite. They're $199. I know right now in the time we're in, there's people scalping them, but they haven't stopped making them. You will be able to find these for $199, and it's going to play all of the Nintendo Switch games because it's original hardware. So to recap, you need a pretty expensive Android device for this to run, a $100 controller, and you will have to be online every time you start up a game. You're also going to have to create that account. And keep in mind, you're not going to be able to run every single Switch game. I've run into a lot of crashing, and even using this on a $1,400 Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, I still can't get, like, Pokemon or Let's Go Pikachu to run at full speed constantly. And that's a $1,400 device with the Snapdragon 865 Plus. Now, putting the emulator aside, the GameSir X2 controller is actually really awesome. I really wish they wouldn't have launched this beside it, because now it's going to overshadow how good this controller really is. It connects over USB Type-C, so input lag isn't going to be a thing anymore like it was with Bluetooth. It fits the bigger phones like the Galaxy S20 and even the Red Magic 5G and 5S. But now that they've paired this up with the emulator, there's going to be a bunch of people out there that won't even look into getting this device, because it's going to be synonymous with this emulator here. And it's a real shame because this is actually a really great USB Type-C controller for your Android device. It works with native Android games that support controllers. It also works with other emulators on the market. Great build quality, and overall I really do like the GameSir X2 for other applications. So real quick, I'm going to show you what happens when you're not signed in and you don't have a controller connected. I've got my Red Magic 5S right here. It's the same exact setup that I have on the Poco F2. I'm just not signed in, and I don't have that controller connected. And whenever I try to start a game, it keeps prompting me to sign in or register. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. I've already got an account created. So I'm now signed in. It gives me a prompt saying I'm logged in. And I'll try to start it, and it's telling me I'm not connected to the controller. So you do have to have an account, and you have to have that X2 controller connected in order to run any of these games at all. So all in all, this is a real Nintendo Switch emulator for Android, but they are using some sketchy tactics here. Like, basically, hardware and software DRM to get this up and running. You have to be online, you have to sign in with an account, and you have to have the GameSir X2 in order to play any of the games in the first place. Another thing I've been hearing through the grapevine is that this app here might be using code from another very popular Switch emulator that's available for PC. I'm not going to name any names right now because we're not 100% sure on this. And nobody's given an official statement yet, but that application is open source, and this one for Android, at least at the time of making this video, is closed source with DRM implemented. But putting the emulator aside, the GameSir X2 controller is actually awesome. I personally really like this. I love the look of it. It's built very nicely. It fits these bigger phones like the Red Magic 5, 5G, and the 5S. Given it is a bit tight for these Red Magic phones, but they do fit in here, you're not hurting anything, and they'll stay in here just fine. As you can see, this is actually the Red Magic 5S. And since it's connected over USB Type-C, we have basically zero latency, not like you would get with Bluetooth or MiFi or anything like that. So overall, this is a great controller. It's just going to be overshadowed by it being launched beside that app. So as it sits right now, with the limited information we have on this whole situation, it's really hard for me to recommend this app to you. And I could definitely recommend the GameSir X2 controller, but here's the deal. I'm not sure if this is an inflated price point here for the controller because the app is in existence and it only works with this. Now, in the past, I've done reviews on expensive Android controllers, like the Razer Kishi, which goes for around $80. It's another USB Type-C controller. And the Glap controller, which actually goes for $100 still to this day, and it connects over Bluetooth. 
So I'm personally not opposed to paying for a good Android controller as long as it works, but the way it's sitting right now, I think they have this priced so high because of the application. So that's pretty much it for this video. Really appreciate you watching. I'm sure we're going to learn more about this emulator in the coming days or weeks, and I will keep you updated. But until then, if you're interested in checking out a full review on the GameSir X2, just let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.